Hey everybody, Sneaky Narcotic, back at it again with another YouTube video. And today we're playing a Dance with Mance deck. So Dance with Mance, or Dance of the Mance, I should say, is, uh, is a sorcery that allows us to return up to X target artifacts and or non or enchantment cards, each with converted mana cost X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield if X is 6 or more, those permanents are 4-4 four, four creatures in addition to their other types. So, we are playing an artifact deck, kind of, <laughs> um, that's whole goal is to get a Dance of the Mance off, and honestly, it's not been hard, it, <laughs> it's not really been that hard to get a Dance of the Mance off, so, um, first off we have Ginger Brute, which is a food golem, you, you I wanted to find artifacts that I could sacrifice, um, I do have, you know, two planar cleansings, which will let me blow everything off the board except for lens. But um, I did want to make sure I had artifacts I could sacrifice as well in case I didn't need to do a planar cleansing. So I have Ginger Brute. Um, it allows me to block if I need to. It's a 1 1 haster and blocker. Uh, it also allows me to gain three life if I need some life. Witching Well, it lets me draw two cards, but it also lets me scry two cards, and that's really good for a one-drop, scrying two. Uh, that's really good. And then again, it's a, it's a artifact I can sacrifice. Uh, Corridor Monster, not an artifact I can sacrifice, but a very good blocker. A one for two mana artifact creature blocker. And yes, Dance with the Mats allows you to bring artifact creatures back as four fours, so that's really good. Um... Golden Egg, this is primarily a, a artifact, again, lets you sacrifice it for either ga uh, mana fixing or gaining life. I've never had a mana fix in this deck because it's only a two-color deck and I have a lot of two-color uh, lands in here. Or at least enough to not ever have to mana fix. But anyways, the whole draw to for putting this down is really good. And then again, it being a food allows us to gain some life. That's really good too. Um, of course, Dance of the Mints, the card of the deck. Then we have Narset Part of Vels. Um, we're trying to, f trying to find our Planner Cleansings, our Time Wipes, our Dance of Mints. All these cards can be found with Narset. So that's one of the reasons why she's in here. She also allows our opponent to stop drawing cards or slows them down, and that's another reason. The final reason she's in here is because we only have 20 life, and yes, we can, you know, gain some life here and here, um, but we only have 20 life, so it's nice to be able to give us that turn or two that we need, um, that Narset can take the pounding for us, you know. Uh, same thing with Teferi here. Teferi Time Raveler, you know, yeah, you can bounce a card back and draw a card. That's very good or whatnot, but it also takes a pounding for us when we don't need it. Um, so very good. The last minute addition for this deck was Ugin the Ineffable. So, the reason I even add this card is because of the colorless spells you cast, uh, cost two less to cast. Um, and so, you know, that, that helps kind of with Ginger Brute for free or Golden Egg for free. Um, I thought it would help with these, but I guess not. That makes sense. But the other thing is that it can make a 2-2 two -two blocker when we need it to. It can destroy a Planeswalker if we need it to. Uh, really, there's only... Six thing, six cards out of this whole deck that can deal with Planeswalkers. Planar Cleansing and the four copies of Ugin the Ineffable. So, I really think it's worth it in the long run to use Ugin um, in this deck. Before, <sighs> this was kind of just a slot of a card. I didn't have anything in the artifact section that I thought about using. Um, but the main goal of this deck is to get at least six artifacts in your graveyard, at least six of the Dance of the, of the Mance, and just untap with a 4-4 four, four army of artifacts. They're ready to kill your opponent after, you know, you time wipe them or plan your cleansing them. And that's the whole goal of the deck. So, let's get into some gameplay. Um, before we do though, guys, please let me ask y'all to like share and subscribe it would mean so much to me and i would greatly appreciate it um but without further ado let us get into the game hoo 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 
Whew. If you're in the south right now and you are enjoying this good weather from this random cold front, let me know because I sure am. I am enjoying it. I live in Alabama, uh, and it was not nice. I work outside most of the year, and it was not nice. Um, so yeah, just a side note. Another thing, and I think I said this in another one of my videos. I don't know if it came out yet or not, but anyways, Shimmer Dragon for it being in the background a lot, or you know, a wallpaper in the loading screen, I should say. I've never seen anybody actually play it. I don't even, I don't even know what the card does off the top of my head because I've never seen anybody play with Shimmer Dragon. Um, this is fine. We just need to draw into mana, and we have like time wipes and and planner cleansings. Just, just keep a heavy, uh, a late game hand. Sure, we'll never be punished this way. Um, hmm. Enter this tapped. Well, let's see here. What does Shimmer Dragon do? Ooh, playing gets gruel. I don't think that that was worth it. I really don't. A turn one Arboreal Grazer. As long as you control four or more artifacts, Shimmer Dragon has hexproof. Tap two untapped artifacts you control and draw a card. Well, it's an interesting card to say the least. Um, it might even end up in this deck. Uh, if I cared to have creatures. If I didn't have these these board wipes, I definitely would... Well, I'd say definitely. I'd probably be playing with it. So, whoa, 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 whoa. He's playing a four-color deck? What are you? Oh, he's probably playing a Field of the Dead deck. That would make a lot of sense. Field of the Dead, you know, it lost its, um... It lost its Shiner... What was the Shiner called? Uh... Hmm. I can't remember the name of it off the, off the top of my head right now. It was the, uh... It was the one that you could sacrifice lands and then go find, a uh, lands in your deck to replace them. But I can't remember it off the top of my head. Oof. A golden egg. Love me a golden egg. Uh, scape shift. That's what it was called. Scape shift. Yeah. So it lost scape shift, but you know, that's all right. Signor Gesu. I wonder what language that is. Signor Gesu. Is this no, this is the beginning of his turn. I thought he, we were still on my turn. I was like, what are you doing? Three mana. Guild... Guild Summit? Yeah, on top of that. Uh... <laughs> hmm. Okay. <laughs> this is great. This is a fun time to be alive right now. Um... Hmm. Do I... Golden Egg? Probably Golden Egg here, yeah? Negative two, golden egg, golden egg number two, and there we go. Ooh, fifth land. All right, we're up to time wipe. Now we just need to get six uh, cards in our graveyard, and <laughs> we'll be doing good. Doing good. And as you can see, Narset already showing her value with this whole guild summit idea here. Uh... It's random that he has so many guild summons, but yeah, again, it's a Field of the Dead deck. I expected as much. I did. Uh-oh. Don't get stuck. Thank you. Okay, so... Let's see here. I think we're just gonna... Sacrifice... Gain three life... Do you, do you allow me to gain my three life? Singar? Okay. Sacrifice, gain three life. Want to go ahead and get two of our six artifacts in the graveyard. Keep Gingerbread Man up for a blocker. I love how he's like a really tall Gingerbrute. 
but <laughs> he's only a one one. And I, I love the whole "you can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man." <laughs> That's great. He's eventually going to run out of lands. Pass. And I'm about to show him the power of Teferi. My turn. Alrighty. The power of Teferi. Oh, come on. Allow me to cast my Teferi, please. Or counter it. If you if you have counters now, is the time to use it. Because if not, <laughs> I will start compounding. I think we even have our land values. Now we just need... Uh... I wish this... Return up to one target artifact creature enchantment to... So yeah, it doesn't actually... I wish it did. Oh man, I could have used this on the eggs. But um, I think we almost have enough mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have one mana away from Dance of Mats type mana. Um, and then we'll be happy. We'll be happy. Do, 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 do. I don't. No, why you're even doing this? Let's give him the good old hello. <laughs> All right. Come on, computer. Negative three. Bounce your zombie. Bye, zombie. All right. Wishing well. Very nice. Another card that we can sacrifice next turn. So, Scrata. I think Teferi Time Raveler will probably be the better choice here. Um, and then... P.S. the turn. So how many artifacts are in our graveyard? Two. This will be three, that will be four. Resolve. Castle Ventress. <laughs> okay. Pass to me. Pass to me. Pass it all the way back to me. Okay. So now we're going to... Not that we ever need to, but plus one... Play this, yes. Keep the new copy. Go negative three. Bouncing you. Ah, and ginger brute number one, or number two. I'm going to go ahead and just sacrifice this. So, board wipes out the wazoo, but we have yet to find a dance with mats. Um, let's see. I don't think... Yeah, I don't think we're allowed to look at our bottom, but I imagine we've seen the t bottom 5 out of 39. So we have 34 more cards to go through, guys. It's okay, though. It's okay. Um, let's see here. Plus... So we gain one life... We play Corridor Monitor. Uh, untapping my Corridor Monitor. <laughs> We're going to plus one to Fairy. We're going to bring a Ginger Brute down. And probably just block it with the Ginger Brute and sacrifice the Ginger Brute. So this, I think this brings us to six, yeah, six artifacts. Once we kill everything on the board, we'll have six artifacts. So, very good, very good. Resolve it. Resolve it. 
I don't care about your castle ventures. Oh man, okay, so now he's making two zombies a turn. Pass. God, I really hope y'all don't hear my kids screaming in the background. My wife's supposed to be watching my kids while I record these videos. Let's see if she does. Okay. If you would like to time wipe your board, that is totally fine by me. We're going to sacrifice and sacrifice like I wanted to anyways. And I'm happy. Happy again. Okay, Narset number two will definitely help us dig deep enough, I believe. Narset number two, that's the one we want to keep. Negative two. Dance of Mats. And Dance of the Mats. Okay, plus one. And now we're good. Pass turn. <laughs> I forget that he can, I have to reveal the card so he can see this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see how late game we can get with this. Done. Pass. Oh yeah, because it's a fairy, I can definitely go late game with it. Huh. That's great. Resolve. Hope you have a good enough scry. I love that Chandra art. Look at that. Look at it, it glows. Your your cards don't even glow. My cards glow. Kinda want one of these in real life. That'd be cool. Okay. So that's negative two Narset. Get another dance of mats. Grab a gender of root. Um plus one to fairy. And we'll just pass the turn. We have enough to board wipe and also sacrifice Ginger Brute. So yeah, we'll pass the turn. Um, sure, done. Resolve that. Let's hear one, two, three, four, five, six. Six cards. Uh, well, first we're going to sacrifice Ginger Brute. Resolve all of your crap. No wub wubs for you, by the way. No wub wubs. That's right. So then we time wipe. Wipe the board. We're just going to keep plus one into fairy, and then we'll use Dance of the Mance whenever we don't have to time wipe. We're up to thirty-seven life. See, this is this is one of those games. I'm just like, okay, do what it, do what you want. <laughs> I'm good. I'm I'm just going to play Magic. You're at forty. I'm at thirty-three. Let's see how long this goes. I feel like these. Are, this is also one of those decks that if you bring it to your standard tournament, I. Uh, Especially if you use a timer on your standard tournament like we do at ours. You'll just <laughs> kind of sit back. Let's see here. And be like, I, I better win the one because there's no way I'm going to get through the second. Mm, why do you keep staring at my Teferi? Okay, you can use Explosion on Teferi. Uh, resolve that. I still have his thing for now. Oh. He did that on on your set. Okay, resolve. You understand Teferi's the problem, right? Like, you can draw as many guards as you want. Teferi's the problem. Okay. Resolve all of that. Oop, oop, oop. He decided he wanted to do something else. Is it another land? No. Time wipe. 
<laughs> you remember when your parents used to say, don't play with your food before you eat it? Well, that's not how I feel right now. Oh my god, is that another witching well? That's, that's just great. Um, yeah, keep that. And, um, that's, that's what I keep. Um, plus one. We're gonna go ahead and sacrifice this. Uh, if he, I mean, I'll clear his board on my turn, I don't care. I think I have enough to literally do that and then, so pass turn. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Nope, actually, I do not. He has to be running out of cards now. Resolve that. Gullus Tireless Tracker, sure. Pass turn. I wonder if he ever uses the ability on Gullus. Okay. Field of the Dead. Resolve it. Resolve it all. Yeah, he just did. Look at that. Smart guy. Yeah. Oh, you can't play Temple Garden. Okay, he does his own Teferi Time Raveler. <laughs> okay. Okay. Anything else for you, bud? Like, my my victory is almost... Yeah, you can't bounce a Teferi with a Teferi. I'm sorry. It was the other Teferi that you could do that with. Not yet. Not that one. Okay. So. We're going to Witching Will. Obvious Law. Yeah, we don't want another Ugin. I appreciate the thought, though. We want to... Plus one to far. And we want to pacify the turn. So I want to see if he messes up and puts a land down first. Put a land down first. Look at you. Look at you. Already messing up. Look at you. That's cute. That's real cute. <laughs> yes. Get all your field of the deads out of the way. Please. Please get all the filter deaths out of the way first. Draw your draw your guild summits. <laughs> this is great. Oh my god, he doesn't even know what he does. Guys, remember you have two main phases. <laughs> because I'm gonna wipe his board and he's he's gonna be like ah <laughs> So, are we on attack phase yet? That's fair. I wouldn't actually mind that being bounced back to my hand. It fixes my top. I don't care that that draws you a card either. You have 24 cards left to do something with this game. Oh, how many lands does he have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 lands out of what I assume is 24. Uh, the math on that is 9 more lands that he has in his deck. Somewhere. He's already played the one for this game, uh, this turn, though. So. What are you doing? And what the fuck? Oh. I remember. Okay. Full control, please. Full control. I did not pass my turn. Do you, under do you understand I can play this right now, right? You understand I can play this right now? Is the game screwing me? Anybody? Is the game screwing me? Because of this, until your next turn you may cast sorcery spells as though they have flash. And this has flash. And this has flash. And this this has flash. Alright, well, screw it. I'm planner cleansing next turn. I actually no I'm not. I want him to get most of his board out of the way and then I'll planner cleanse and then mm, dance with the mats. That's what I'll do. So yes, all your Field of the Dead triggers, please, right now. Yeah, that's awesome. Pay two life, because I think it matters. 
Uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. <laughs> there went all your crap. Uh, then we're going to do Witching Well. I don't need that. I need the land, though. And... Pasture. So how many artifacts do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight artifacts. I might only even get to play one one uh, game today. I think he has all his lands out there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, uh, twenty-one. He has three lands left. Actually, he doesn't because or. Did he put those at the bottom? He might have put them at the bottom. What exactly does Gullif say again? No, they're right here. Yeah. So he has no lands left. He can't trigger his Field of the Dead anymore. Basing it off of 24 lands. He can't trigger his Field of the Dead anymore. So his deck actually is done. I haven't... I've yet to seen a creature other than Gullos. Um. So Yeah. Good game. I think I have defeated you. Oh, a Hydroid Crisis. Oh, a Hydroid Crisis. We're going to go ahead and sacrifice our uh, Witching Well here. Into another Witching Well. That's hilarious. Um. Okay. So I think that's enough mana. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, that's enough mana still to do a, a uh, time wipe. I don't think he understands that I'm getting these. You, you can't trigger Gate Colossus anymore either. That's hilarious. Oh! He was able to trigger his uh, Field of the Dead again. Look at that. <laughs> Arbor Rail Grazer. Well, that's right. Keep on. Keep going. You haven't done enough yet. You're going to you're going down to ten cards. That's hilarious. That's hilarious what he's doing right now. He's three open mana. Do you have anything else? Cool. So I'm just going to do this. Wait, real quick. Let me make sure I have enough mana. Witching well. Um Narset Parter Vels. That's a very good card. That doesn't need to be there. And then we're going to do this. And yeah. There we go. Um, draw four. Nope, 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 nope. Pass the turn, then draw four cards. Or two cards. So let's see. We're up to ourselves six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mana. <laughs> he filled. <laughs> he filled the <laughs> deck. How many freaking lands do you have in there? I think that's 26 right now. I think that's the number I have. 26 freaking lands so far. Um, What you got? What, you, what are you looking at your graveyard for? Don't look at your graveyard. <laughs> there ain't nothing in there. All your freaking lands are on the field. You have uh, 14, 10 cards left in your, gra in your library. My bad. Library. Um, and I'm about to take the game away from you, so this should be fun. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'll be able to Planner Cleansing plus, uh, plus Ugin next turn, actually. So he plus ones. Go ahead with that. Anything you want to play, bud? Anything? Nothing? The Hydroid Crosses resolved. You probably didn't want to play that, though. You have seven cards left. Okay, he didn't play it for big. <laughs> I was about to say. That's kind of ridiculous that you thought about playing a Hydroid Crisis right now. I love how he's playing, like, literally no new cards from Throne of Eldraine. He's just playing a Golos deck, basically. Resolve. Did you find a land you want to put down? It's a May trigger, so you don't have to. Well, you did anyways, because you're done. 
resolve all of that. Like, I literally ain't holding two planar cleansings. I can... I'm holding two planar cleansings. Okay. Yes, I would like to draw two cards. Okay. Not too shabu. Not even going to use Narset now. My turn. Alrighty. So we planner cleansing. <laughs> oh, he time wipes. Oh, that's hilarious. That he time wipes. Okay. Well, we'll Ugin. <laughs> Ugin. You got anything for Ugin? No? Didn't think so. Plus one. <laughs> I commemorate him on his deck. <laughs> but it's just not going to do anything. So, something else we can do with Planar Cleansing next turn is we can literally just, like... Alright, he filled to the deads. I'm guessing his whole... How many lands is in his deck here? Because this is, this is getting insane with how many freaking lands are in his deck. Keep staring at him. He doesn't do anything to you. <laughs> yeah. This is great. This is a great time to be alive, guys. Uh, is the zombie even a color? Does it make a black zombie? Did you make me draw my deck? Are you kidding? He won? What? What? Oh my god. I can't believe he made me draw my deck. <sighs> oh, guys. Okay, I shouldn't have played with him that much. I feel bad. I feel bad. That That's, um... <laughs> I'm not even mad, though. Like, I'm not even mad I lost. That was a great game. Oh, man. That's that's how you know that you enjoy this game. This, this whole series of Magic the Gathering is that you can sit there. You can go on and on and on. You can get board wipe after board wipe and then still lose the game to some random explosion. I should have I should have guessed. I, I should have thought about it. I, I really should have. I should have played Dance with the Mance earlier. Um, not that bad of a keep. I'm keeping. We have two things that can fix us. So the proper thing to do here is play Ginger Brute into a Witching Well. Don't need a Teferi at the moment. Do need a land. Swing one and we're done. Oh man, my face is still red. <laughs> oh, what? We're playing against the mill. This isn't a great... I mean, it is and isn't a great thing to be playing against. Um, it doesn't really matter if we fix our mana at all. No attacks. I'm wondering if this is actually Demir Mill or if it's just uh, he has some mill cards in here. There's one of our Dance of the Mance, so one of our win conditions already gone. Alright, we're going to go ahead and play Narset. And negative two. Do you have a negate? I don't even know if negate's in standard anymore, but do you have one? Oh, man, I really could have used uh, Dance of the Mance in that. Alright, sure, 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 sure. Could also use that land a lot. I could use that land a lot. But okay. Okay. 
Okay, well, we're just going to Witching Well. Guess we should have did Witching Well afterwards, but we're not that good at playing this game, so. Come on, dance with the mans. Well, oh, would I rather have an Ugin or a Time Wipe? I guess an Ugin. Time Wipe's alright, right? But Ugin's way better. Oh, actually, I'm going to do this and then pay one. Yeah, we're going to start pinging him down now. <laughs> if you die to the gingerbread men. <laughs> Do you really die? He's gonna have to start playing something here. Now just look at me like I'm pretty. Okay. I can I can do that. That's that's the card I can do, yes. Definitely, definitely a card I can do. So one of the cards I need the most right now is to make sure I have a dance with the mats. He's gonna mill me. Oh no, he's gonna mill me. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> That's so good. Oh no. <laughs> um Thing is too, I don't even want to bounce it. Oh man. Okay, plus one. Pass to you. I'm supposed to be winning, but I don't feel like I'm winning. I'm I'm losing to Jank out the butt right now. And he concedes. Okay, yes! Look at that, guys. A win. I counted. A win. <laughs> let's, let's play one more. One more. Claim prize. Yay, I got my coins for playing my challenge today. Okay, well I can't play this. Mulligan. I can play this. So we'll take the corridor monitor and throw him in the dungeon. We literally have nothing to do till turn three, but that's fine. Temple of Mystery. Ooh. Ugh, a time wipe. Who needs a time wipe? Oh, man. Are we playing the same guy again? No, he's playing Elementals. That's fine. Elementals are fine. He's playing Yarrock Elementals, too, I think. So that's not bad. Yarrock, very good cured. Ooh, an Ugin? I like an Ugin. Do you have a counter? Why are you looking at your hand that hard? You better not counter this thing. A quench. Oh my god, he quenched it. Okay, I swear if you try to quench a, a witching well, I'm going to lose my crap. I'm, I'm absolutely going to lose my crap. You, you counter my witching well. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, um, I actually like that. So yeah, we're going to do that. That's what we're going to do. I like how he also isn't attacking in with his 1-2. Like, I'm going to do something. Chandra's Ember Cat, sure. Okay, still no attack in. Alright, alright. Well. <laughs> um. Let's 
So honestly, I'd rather just sacrifice my witching well at this point in time. Try to see if I can find another land on top, another untapped land. Well, that's not an untapped land, but it is a land. We will take it. Play an Uggin. I'd like to play my Uggin, please. I will either Uggin or I can play Teferi plus uh, Narset. Look at all the scry power he has over there. Look at all that scry power. Okay, so uh, pay two life, play my Uggin. Counter me. I, I want you to counter me. Thank you. I appreciate that. Negate is in standard. Look at that. Okay, so take in mind how many counters he's used so far. That counter count two. <laughs> you doing anything here? Okay, so I guess he's playing a elemental, sure. Playing anything else? Anything else at all? No? Cool. Okay. Still not attacking me. Witching well. <laughs> Dance of the Mats? Yes. It's not like it matters right now, but eventually we'll get there. Pass turn. Don't worry, buddy. I'm I'm holding up a settle the wreckage. Watch it. <laughs> oh man. I don't know why playing this deck is just the most fun to me. He he's he's literally not attacking. And I think that's what's hilarious. He has a 2-1. What are you doing? <laughs> Attack me like a man. <laughs> okay. Draw two cards. Cool. Okay. We're going to play... Imaginarily play... Which one do we play first? I guess a time wipe. I mean, it's going to eat a counter. Okay, it doesn't eat a counter. So he has no counters on board. Gotcha. Here comes our corridor monitor. <laughs> Just wobbling in like a corridor monitor does. JT Baker 09. What you doing, boss? Doing anything fun? Yeah? Anything fun? Omnath? Oh, man. So you're going to deal one damage to my... To me. To me. Oh, look at that. To me. How much is Omnath? Omnath is four mana. Mm, darn shame. Darn right shameful. Gingerbread, Narset, you know, and Negative Tua. Into an Ugin. Yes, please. I know I said I want to be making sure I have artifacts in my graveyard for this Dance of the Mats that's in my hand, but um, I'm having too much fun trying to play Azorius Planeswalkers instead. Risen Reef. Hello. Yeah, stare at the ginger brute. Stare into his evil eyes. Okay, he lava coiled my. Okay. That's not what I need to happen. So we're going to play Ugin because I feel comfortable playing Ugin now. 
and we win. Well, guys, I'm kind of sad that y'all didn't see me play a big dance of the mance. Um, I'm still going to upload this video because, like, it's really cool what the decks I played against, let alone the deck I'm actually playing. But just imagine being able to play a dance of the mance <laughs> and actually win. I'm probably going to give this deck another shot uh, in another video, but... Um, let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. If there's any way, like, I studied up on the artifacts, uh, when I was playing. Um, well, before I even started recording and when I was playtesting this. Ooh, that's a good card. Um, but I studied up on the artifacts and everything, and they really... There wasn't really any good ones. I wanted to be able to draw through my deck, which is why I had the ones I did. Um, and I also wanted to be able to sacrifice them, so that way I can play, uh, Dance of the Mance and actually it means something. But I don't know, maybe there's something that you guys can think of in the comment section below. Please like, share, subscribe, do all that usual YouTube stuff. And uh, this is Sneaky Narcotic, signing off.